Hey, good morning, my friends. This is a quick video to show you the new a demo of the new Printful integration. Now, if this video is in the uh, high level Facebook group, this is not a self promo video. However, I am using my own domain. So my main goal of this is to go into a little bit more depth from what the Chase video and I go, darn, gosh, darn, I can't remember his name. Uh, yesterday we talked about with the Printful uh, integration. For those of you that want to sell swag and are interested in selling swag, uh, like they said on the video yesterday, it's a very easy thing and it could be its own niche by itself. Plus it could um, it, it could be something you could very easily add on to any kind of lifestyle brand, coaching brand, something like that. And there's almost basically zero overhead to get started on this. So hopefully you can see my screen here. And what they were talking about yesterday is in the marketplace now, inside of your sub account, there's just Printful integration. And for those of you, I'm gonna assume some of you have no idea what Printful is. Printful is a service over here. It's called a print on demand service. PO, it's also known as a POD. And it's one I've actually used long before I even discovered high level to tell you the truth. Uh, and I've sold plenty of plenty of things on there. And as you can see in this video, I like to wear my own brand. So you can create a free account over here at Printful. And you can have multiple stores. You can upload you know, font templates, uh, image templates. You basically come over here and create your products. You can do just all kinds of things. And it's zero overhead to get started. For the most part, you only pay when you ship out something. So being the big high level fan that I am, a big Printful fan, seeing this integration was really cool. So I'm gonna walk you, uh, you know, kind of quickly through how this works. So of course you come over to uh, the um, your sub account, you install the Printful app here, uh, and then there's various things you can do, but the main thing I wanna do to come here is show you that um, once you install this, uh, either, Either over on Printful, either either you can have an existing store over on Printful and get started without the integration, or when you turn on the integration, it'll come over here and create a store for you. And a store is just a repository of your products. So I've I had an existing store, I've redone some stuff recently, but here is my quote unquote Printful store. Now by store, it doesn't mean I can actually just this doesn't have a URL where I can you know instantly start selling stuff because I would always rather do it on my domain. But inside your quote unquote store is where you build your products. You determine, you know, colors, font sizes, are you coffee cups, hoodies, whatever, what size that you're selling. So for example, like this dad hat has one variant, one size, but this lo loving living black hoodie has five. So you do all this work right here. And so when it's all set up, what happens is, is as you develop products over here, they automatically show up over here. And that's what happened this morning. So once the integration's on, uh, you, you develop a product over here, and then you'll see that Printful says it's pushing it to your store. And then, then when it pushes it to your store, it actually ends up over here in your products. So the one thing it doesn't do automatically is not, there's a switch that is not automatically turned on that I'm hoping someone at high level can look at for me. But this morning, for example, I developed this dad hat, okay? Did all the work on Printful. When I saved it, it did like a little sync thing. It took like 30 seconds and it said it is now pushed to your store. And by store, it means the integration over here on, on, uh, on high level. So I go into the dad hat. See, that thing is not on by default, which bothers me a little bit. So you do have to come in and turn this on. I've discovered that several times. But down here, you can work on the uh, title, the, um, the whatchamacallit, the, uh, the description, um, if you're going to have different mock-ups, you can have them here, sizes, what collections they're in. Uh, you can work on all kinds of things here. And of course, as you can tell, this actually ends up being a Stripe product in my particular case. But then once you do that here, it actually ends up on your storefront over here. And this was, for the most part, automatic. Basically meaning I did all the design work over here. And as I saved each design, it showed up over here in my products. And uh, with some caching clearing, it showed up over here. So let me see if I can refresh and get the hat to show up over here. Okay, there's a little bit, I'm not sure if this is a caching or a sync thing, but it, there's a little bit of a lag here from when I turn something on here and saving it. I believe it's caching, which you know I'm okay with. There's no emergency products I'm selling. But uh, let me see, if refresh over here. And does it show, so, so you can tell the hat shows over here. And uh, yeah, that's on for sure. So if we refresh this a couple times, it'll eventually show up over here. Um, that's what I had to do with, with these 
This one in the upper left was already existing. These three I had this morning for the purposes of this demo. But you can, you know, come into your e-commerce store right here. You know, if you have multiple colors, you can do that. If you have multiple sizes, the person can pick the size. Add to cart. You can see my cart here. View cart and do the whole e-commerce checkout thing. And the way, also really quick, I wanted to cover the way you get this kind of store inside of high level is you, when you are building, first of all, there's e-commerce templates you can use. Patrick is the kind of guy that remembers the templates after he's done, you know, two days worth of work. But when you are building a page here, you can come over here and say, hey, I actually want there to be a store on this site. So you can click on plus sign and there's a little store option here on the left-hand side. You click on store, you click on add to site. And what happens is high level actually adds several pages to your um, to this particular website. This is not a funnel, this is not a form, this is a website. So it'll add several pages to the website. So I clicked on OK, I clicked on publish. Uh, we're gonna use my training domain here. And all you're seeing right here is you know test products. But if I were to come back out into the actual site here. Um, this was a brand new site that had nothing high level added products list product details cart thank you and the checkout pages so you end up getting five pages added here and then for them and then you know for the most part um, once you have your design down you don't have to do anything but come over here into your printful store uh, over here on the left hand side and start adding products and when you do they are synced over uh, you add your profit margin over on printful they are synced over the products end up in um, high level and they are available on your store. So you could, if you came up with a new idea for a new hat, for a new saying or something, the really the only place you have to log into is Printful. Um, I, I take that back. We've got that product, uh, that little switch up there to show in, um, to show an online store that has to be turned on. So that is one minor thing you have to do. But once you do that, again, let's come over here, back here, is my hat showing up yet? Uh, not quite yet, but my hat will show up here pretty soon. But then what happens, is once somebody orders this, the sync goes the other way and the order is pushed over to Printful and the shipping happens and you have a happy customer walking around wearing your swag like that. A little bit of self-promo there. So um, obviously this has been out for probably, I don't, I don't know how long, but um, the, the setup was pretty easy, I have to admit. And I gotta remember I am a super techie guy. But yeah, if you're the kind of person that wants to start selling swag, take a look at this. This, I have to admit, uh, as Chase and then put on the video yesterday. This is one of the ones I was more excited about because I've been a Printful user for a long time. And typically what happens is the buddy just calls me up or someone sees something I'm wearing at the gym and I just log into Printful and I drop ship it for them manually. But now with this high level integration, I'm pretty freaking stoked. This is pretty freaking cool. So check it out and let me know if you have any questions.